What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, JDaisy here with JDaisy Gaming Channel, here with Eternal Winter. Uh, this will probably be a little bit of a shorter video, because this is a uh, little indie game that came out last year, or two years ago, sorry, this is November 2014. Um, it is on sale right now, is the reason we're doing this video. Um, it's $2.99, normally $9.99. Um, it's a little indie game about exploring um, the Arctic. Um, and if you know me, I have a very deep love for Antarctica and just snow, and I love winter, and uh, so this time of year is great. Um, but this game uh, speaks to me just because of that love. Um, it's also, the art style is very cutesy and um, neat. Uh, I'm not a huge kind of this style of indie game uh, player, but this is really, really good. Um, but the whole point of the game is you're in, uh, it never really specifies, it feels more like um, the North Pole than the South Pole just because it's more ice sheets and less of an actual continent, which is fine. Um, but you are pretty much setting up a Arctic outpost and collecting data and that's kind of the currency quote unquote for this. Um, and you're trying to survive storms and collect data to do that. Um, the different you when you start the game you decide which kind of scientist you are you know if you're a microbiologist or you're there for um, wildlife research or you're there for uh, temperature research um, and that kind of determines how much data you get back from those certain activities um, you can either drill into the ice uh, you can measure temperatures you can watch wildlife um, and there's another one uh, I'm kind of forgetting the last one apologies um, there's four different main areas. Um, so you set up these little uh, points and they produce data over like a 24 hour time period so you have to check them all the time. Um, so you take your little cute little dog sled team uh, that is a, if you hit forward they just keep going forward until you tell them to stop so that's nice. Uh, you go and check all your traps make sure uh, they're getting data. Um, this game is in early access. I forgot to mention that. I forgot to mention that. Um, so there are a few bugs uh, where sometimes it just kind of despawns those uh, those buildings, the, the little outposts. It's never despawned my actual base camp. Uh, you form a little base camp and you get uh, X amount of people. I think it starts you off with seven uh, people in your expedition when you start. And you can hire more, but that costs more food. And food and wood and electronics. Um, are kind of the three things you're always watching. Those are the the resources that are needed to you know survive out here, um, and you'll need a certain amount of those to survive the storms when they come. They come about in week intervals. Uh, you can hunt animals um, if you find them. They're very few and far between. Uh, whether it be a fox or a wolf or a, a a seal, you can hunt those and get a little more food because you're always getting food because you got to feed your dogs, you got to feed yourself. Um, you gotta feed your explorers. Um, so you can build a little base camp, a little hut to save in. You have to sleep to save. Um, and that's also where you can resupply your darts to hunt animals. You can build a little hunting or a forestry lodge. Those people will go out and get you um, just wood. Uh, you send them out on an expedition, it costs food, um, a certain amount of food, and then they will bring you back. Uh, wood that you collect. Um, you can also get a electronic shop and that person will take electricity which you have to build a uh, solar generator for um, and they will go get you electronics. Electronics are what you use to build the physical uh, research platforms. Uh, so if you don't have electron uh, electronics you can't build more research stuff um, and the research uh, is in gigabytes and, and they're kind of plentiful. I'm not going to say they're the most scarce thing in the world but they sometimes can be especially when you start the game off but the more points you find there's normally a uh, little caches there that give you um, kind of a boost uh, but the research is what your main goal is you can transfer that in for um, upgrade stuff you can transfer that in for supplies um, and you can transfer that in for paint stuff if you want to paint different objects I haven't really done that um, so pretty much the game is just going around collecting this data kind of Massing, uh, it's pretty much a survival game based in Antarctica, or not in Antarctica, but in the Arctic, um, that you're collecting data for kind of currency to survive. Um, the reason the game really speaks out to me is the music is great. 
the art style is amazing it really gets you immersed if you play it um, between the music and the art style it gets you immersed uh, and I just at three bucks I, I cannot recommend this enough at ten dollars um, probably if you have any kind of exploration love or uh, love for the Arctic like I do um, or just like these kind of indie survival games definitely look at this um, I highly highly recommend this um, and that's me being a little biased I'll, I'll admit that a hundred percent but it is beautiful it is beautiful it is it, it is what I expect from indie games uh, the art design the music design the the basic uh, template for gameplay there you're not going to be running into a giant snow abominable snowman boss here it is just pretty much survive and do the things that you know it's a very basic to-do list um, the map is a very uh, large map but it's a very um, realistic map uh, if you play the game or if you've seen real GPS coordinates it looks like that it is it's very bland um, but it tells you everything you need to know if you can read it right um, you also are running around with a dog sled team, so who doesn't want that? Um, but yeah, guys, that is Eternal Winter. Sorry, this one's a little shorter than normal, but uh, it's a kind of a little smaller game. Uh, check it out if you can get there before uh, the third when the sale ends. Um, I would highly recommend it getting it at that price point. But even at ten dollars, it's not that bad of a of a. Um, it's a great game for that price point, is what I'm trying to get at. But as always, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. As always. We're all in this one together. See you in the next one.